Here is some more wrestling news for February 10th, 2021. And your headlines for today include, Kiara Hogan says calling out Sasha Banks had nothing to do with blue hair. Why Charlie Caruso is going viral. Edge throws yet another challenge. Murphy's WWE storyline plans reportedly affected by a recent WWE release. Jim Cornette crossed the line yet again by calling a famous wrestler a midget. They will never be the face of WWE, says Eric Bischoff about the current champions. Bad Bunny surprises WWE by bringing over $500,000 in sales to WWE shop. Vince McMahon confronts a WWE wrestler drunk at gorilla position. Severe action was taken. WWE Hall of Famer insulted John Cena by calling him a jobber and more. We're starting with Impact News as Kiera Hogan called out Sasha Banks for copying her, though this is far more than just hair color. During a recent Instagram live stream with Tasha Steeles, one fan brought Banks up, saying that Hogan can't be better because she has 50,000 followers compared to Banks' 5 million. Hogan fired back saying that she loves her, but Steeles asked about who botches all their dives in WWE, saying, it's some female. A not-so-subtle dig at the boss, Hogan then made it clear that this isn't about blue hair, pointing out that Leva Bates also has blue hair and they don't have a problem. At this time, Banks hasn't responded to any comments by Hogan, but it seems like the Impact star's critique of the boss goes far beyond hair color. Over to WWE, and though Nia Jax and her hole had the worst night on Raw, Charlie Caruso didn't fare much better, as she had a very not-safe-for-work moment on Raw Talk. Speaking about Damian Priest's recent call-up, R-Truth suggested the nickname DP, which Caruso responded to by saying, DP, I like that. DP, it has a nice ring to it. The nine-second clip quickly went viral, but not for the reasons Caruso was hoping for. As though DP can stand for a lot of things, Damian Priest's name doesn't generally come to mind. Although some fans encouraged others to get their minds out of the gutter, that's hard to do on Twitter. And now it's back to the drawing board for a Damian Priest nickname. Now we all know that Edge will receive a world title match at WrestleMania, but the rated R superstar may be thinking out of the box. Last week, Edge confronted WWE Champion Drew McIntyre, NXT Champion Finn Balor, and Universal Champion Roman Reigns, but on Instagram, the Hall of Famer teased a challenge across the pond. When a fan criticized Edge, saying that everyone knows who he'll challenge and called his segments boring, Edge replied, saying that it's clear by now he'll be challenging NXT United Kingdom champion Walter. For what it's worth, we're sure that an Edge-Walter match would be an impressive collision, and although the Rated R Superstar is almost certainly joking, we're sure there's plenty of fans who'd love to see the two-time Royal Rumble winner take aim at the superstars of NXT UK. Back to Raw and this week's show also marked the return of Angel Garza, who lost to Damian Priest in a bizarre match. After all, Priest and rap star Bad Bunny have been feuding with The Miz and John Morrison since the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. And on Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer explained this booking decision. Meltzer noted that WWE is still planning on having Priest and Bunny face Miz and Morrison at WrestleMania in what'll be the Grammy winner's in-ring debut, but the company didn't want their feud to rely on Priest facing The Miz and or Morrison every single week. That's why Garza has been thrown into the mix as a way to keep the angle fresh, and it's certainly better than the nothing WWE has had for him in recent weeks. Garza was meant to be in the men's Royal Rumble match, but he was pulled at the last second and replaced by Otis. And whilst there's better reasons to return other than to be another body for Priest to beat up, it's better than nothing. At least Garza is doing better than Steve Cutler, who was released last week, reportedly because he attended a WWE party while testing positive, putting other superstars at great risk, and making Vince McMahon livid. We now know that Cutler's impromptu release has caused some major changes on SmackDown, as on Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer said the plan was for Cutler, Wesley Blake, and King Corbin to feud with the Mysterios and Buddy Murphy. Obviously, those plans were scrapped by Cutler's release, and the angle is now Corbin taking on both Mysterios, with neither Blake nor Murphy anywhere to be seen. It's ironic that both men have been left out, given that they were once the NXT Tag Team Champions together, and it's entirely possible WWE could reunite the team to give both men something to do. 
Murphy's last WWE match happened last December when he faced King Corbin, and though he'll be back on TV one day, it won't be to face off against Steve Cutler. Perhaps Cutler could come to AEW, and if he does, we hope that he gets a better reaction from Jim Cornette than Kenta received. Thanks to the working relationship between AEW and New Japan, Kenta recently debuted on Dynamite, which didn't sit well with Cornette, who said on his podcast, This guy takes his mask off and it's another Japanese midget. The announcers are going crazy. Oh my god, it's Kenta! Like anybody in the United States of America besides the people already watching that program would know who the f Kenta is. Cornette might not have been thrilled to see Kenta, but plenty of fans were. And we'll have to see who else comes through what Tony Khan has called the forbidden door between AEW and New Japan. Back to WWE, and although the company is being represented by Drew McIntyre and Roman Reigns right now, neither man is too over, according to Eric Bischoff. Speaking to Lucha Libre Online this week, Bischoff said how neither man will ever be the face of the company, not because of their ability, but because of WWE. At some point, Vince McMahon made up his mind that he would never allow any one talent to become so powerful that he or she would put the WWE in a secondary position. From Hulk Hogan to The Rock to John Cena, there's plenty of examples of faces of the company ultimately going Hollywood and leaving WWE as their second option. And if Bischoff is to be believed, that won't be the case with the WWE Champion or the Tribal Chief. We've got some great news from the Viking Raiders next, as Eric has become a father. Yesterday, Eric and his wife, former WWE superstar Sarah Logan, welcomed their first child into the world, a healthy baby boy they've named Raymond Cash Rowe. Speaking of the 44 hours of labor his wife went through, Eric said baby Raymond was worth every second, and we're sending our congratulations to the Viking Raider and the Riot Squad alumni on the newest addition to the family. Now, it's been reported that Bad Bunny has become one of WWEShop.com's best sellers, and now we have some numbers to back that up. According to Fightful Select, the Grammy Award-winning rapper has brought in half a million dollars in sales to WWE, with all of his merchandise selling out on the site. At one point last week, Bunny held all four best seller spots on the site, with his shirt being the number one item, his hoodie the second top seller, the women's shirt being third, and the youth version of his shirt being number four. The fifth best seller at that time belonged to Universal Champion Roman Reigns, but even then, sales of the Tribal Chief's shirt were less than 5% of Bunny's shirt. With all these sales, it makes sense that WWE have added more limited edition merch of Bad Bunny to their website which are based off his top rope dive to John Morrison in The Miz from the 2021 Royal Rumble. Although many fans may not have heard of Bad Bunny before 2021, they can't ignore his popularity with a large chunk of the WWE Universe, as proven by the serious money he is bringing to WWE. It's no secret that Vince McMahon can often be found at the gorilla position, and there's been plenty of segments that have angered the chairman. During a recent edition of Monday Mailbag on ad-free shows, Mike Chioda spoke about one such incident, which ended with a scolding from the chairman. Chioda explained that a match between Candice Michelle and Beth Phoenix wasn't going according to plan, partly because Michelle had been partying a lot the night before and was wrestling with a hangover. He added, She took a bump, and I really didn't know she was kind of… she was out of it. But then Beth had covered her, and I still counted. And I really didn't know she was really out like a light, but we all knew she was kind of woozy going into this match. Kyoda added that he didn't feel right, but there was nothing he could do, and instructed Beth to pull Michelle from underneath the rope to make a legal pin. Getting backstage, Kyoda and Michelle quickly discovered that Vince McMahon didn't want the match to end there. I remember Vince, why the hell did you tell Beth? Vince didn't want me to finish the match at all. So I mean, he gave me a screaming up top in gorilla position. He was pissed. He thought I should have never continued the pinfall, which was… I mean, he was right. There are some serious questions about the ethics of having a hungover wrestler compete at all, but this was another example of McMahon wanting things exactly his way. And we're ending today with Tori Wilson, who returned to WWE in the 2021 Women's Royal Rumble match. Though she didn't win, she at least made it to the Rumble show, unlike John Cena. And during a virtual meet and greet, Tori recalled having some fun at Cena's expense years before he made it big. The story goes that after Cena and Don Marie lost to Wilson and Billy Kidman, Tori called Cena a jobber backstage and prides herself on being able to do that before his rise to the top. 
In 2002, Cena wasn't the global entertainment powerhouse he is today, so it wasn't a big deal for Tori to call him a jobber, though we doubt anyone would use the J-word around Big Match John these days. Well guys, that's our news for today, please share your comments below! Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications! And as always, thanks for watching!